It's Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got shit to do. I'm gonna get you high today. <laughs> TFIF, thank fuck it's Friday. And if you don't know what film that is from, then you should have great shame upon yourself. Um, and you should seek it out immediately and go and watch it because it is a legend classic uh, movie. And in fact, do you know what? I found out the other day that they're making a new one um, with the original people in all of the original cast and it's coming out next year. How cool is that? So yeah, really, really looking forward to that. Anyway, it's Friday. I am in the Bang Bus Mark II and uh, I've actually just been all the way over to Heathrow because I had a meeting over there this morning only to get all the way over there and realise, well not realise, but find out that it had been cancelled and I hadn't been notified. So uh, it was a bit of a wasted journey really, but doesn't matter too much. Uh, got to chat to some people and whatnot that I haven't seen for a while, so that was cool. Um, apologies for the lack of videos in the last week or so. Uh, all of last week I had the absolute worst man flu of all time. Uh, and I just felt so shit all week. And even now I've still got like a sore throat, swollen glands. Um, and this is two weeks after I got it. So it's a pretty shit one. So hopefully um, anyone out there who has got it has not suffered as much as me. But it's obviously something that's going around at the moment because I know a lot of people who have got it. So yeah, it's just an unfortunate one. But there you go. So what has been going on uh, this week? Well, we had all of the announcements from Apple uh, which I don't actually think I've spoken about, have I? I don't think I have. Let's talk about it anyway. So, first up, the iPhone 6S. Now, we all know that the S iterations are usually a speed bump um, and a better camera. And again, that is exactly what's happened. But this time around, it's actually a significant speed bump. Uh, that new processor is way faster than the one in the 6. Um, when you looked at the graph that I did, it was it was hugely faster than the one in the six, which is great. Uh, it was much, you know, it was more than an incremental upgrade. Uh, also, I think the, the amount of RAM has doubled as well, uh, so that's awesome as well. And we've got a big feature, uh, a standout feature that we don't normally get in the S range. So we've got a 3D touch, which to me is brilliant. You know, it's sort of come about from Force Touch on the Mac, uh, which I love. Um, and now we've got a, a similar but actually much more enhanced version of it uh, on the iPhone. Uh, complete and utter innovation. Uh, really, really happy that they've managed to squeeze that into an S model. And it does kind of show that they don't necessarily hold back on these things. Once they've got the technology right, and obviously Apple's level of, of right is, is a bit beyond everyone else's, but once they feel they've got it right, they do put it into the product regardless of, of what release it is. So, for the second year in a row, and this has never been the case before with iPhones, I'm always disappointed. Um, I'm actually very excited to get the new iPhone, really, really excited. And on top of that, we've obviously also had iOS 9. Uh, I've been running it for a while in beta and I've just upgraded to the, uh, the GM a few days ago and in fact it's now publicly live as well. And my battery life on the 6S, this phone, has gone through the roof which I never ever expected in a million years because normally it gets worse. But absolutely 100%, my battery life is at least 10 to 15% better than it was on iOS 8. I hated iOS 8 by the way, so I'm a bit biased, but that is the God's honest truth. My battery life has significantly improved. Um, I found that the phone is generally faster. I like all of the little tweaks in iOS 9, but it was definitely a step back to look at stability and some of the core issues like battery life and things like that. And I think they've done a good job with it. The only thing I hate is the multitasking. It's slow, it's back to front, and it's just awkward. It's, it, it's just awkward. I thought it'd be one of them things you'd use it and you'd get used to it, but you don't because it's actually implemented badly. Uh, which is a real shame because I use that a lot. Uh, although a lot less now because you've got the back two button which is fairly useful. So there was that. Then we had the iPad Pro which I've been waiting for for a long, long time. Um, I'm definitely going to be buying one of those and that is probably going to replace my iPad Air because uh, I, I, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't. Now, the specs for that thing look absolutely fantastic. Uh, four gigabytes of RAM which is going to be insane on an Apple device considering what their memory management is already like. Um, you know, there's phones out there today with four gigabytes of RAM, and the iPhone 6 still actually is faster than them, um, even with one gigabyte of RAM. So it shows you how good Apple's uh, software is. 
and uh, this new one with 4 gig of RAM, the iPad Pro, looks fantastic. The screen looks awesome. Uh, I think it's just going to be great. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. The keyboard looked awful uh, when it was folded up. It was like had a lump in it. It just looked fucking ugly. Uh, so I wasn't impressed with that. And the pencil, uh, at first you kind of look back to that thing where Steve Jobs said, if you're using a stylus, you're doing it wrong. But that was for a phone. Um, with a much much smaller screen and I still sort of don't really see a point of a stylus with a phone but when you've got a big area you know a big space of screen real estate like that you've got to allow people like artists and creatives and, and graphic designers and all those people the ability to use it uh, in a way that they're going to want to and they're going to want to use a stylus um, Apple have called it Apple Pencil which okay fine whatever um, so yeah, I mean, all the people that are jumping on the Steve Jobs stylus bandwagon are morons, because uh, the minute you kind of think about it a little bit more carefully, it does actually make sense. Uh, but not for everybody. I don't think it would make sense for me, because um, I'm not a creative type. Uh, um, so yeah, and the great thing about the iPad Pro, being able to edit three 4K streams all at the same time. How cool is that? Uh, that, that is absolutely phenomenal. And in fact, the release of iMovie that came out this week had a change log about that long. It had so many new features in it, and right at the top was 4K support. And I think on that big screen of the iPad Pro, being able to edit with your by touching, I think it's going to be fantastic. So I'm very much looking forward to that. That might actually change my workflow quite considerably. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I wish they'd got a bit further and made it 14 inch, but anyway, well, that'll do. So <clears throat> that was the iPad Pro. Apple TV. Yeah, uh, we've got apps, should have had them ages ago. The new remote control, Siri, that kind of stuff. It's cool, but it, uh, it's not mind blowing me to be honest. It's like, wow, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, and the thing that Apple skipped over ridiculously quickly the iPad Mini 4 with essentially iPad Air 2 um, specifications. Now, I've actually got the iPad Mini 3, uh, 4 now. I had the 3 before, I've had every single one of them. Um, and the iPad Mini 4, let me tell you, is a great fucking device now. Uh, historically, it was good, but it wasn't great because it was always behind the other one. But this one is fucking awesome. And the fact that they've laminated the screen different, well, they've laminated the screen uh, on the iPad 4, and it's really close to the top of it now. <coughs> the colour gamut is fucking out of this world. It is so much of a better screen now than it was on the iPad Mini 3. It looks fantastic. Um, and it is insanely thin. Insanely thin. Absolutely ridiculously thin. Uh, and very fast as well. So the iPad Mini 4 is actually a great device. I, I'm only guessing that Apple don't make much profit on it, which is why they don't push it uh, like they do the other devices. That can be the only reason. Because this new one, the iPad Mini 4, is actually a really spectacular device. I'm so impressed with it. Um, and that was really it uh, in terms of, <coughs> pardon me, sorry, uh, in terms of the uh, announcements from uh, from Apple's event. But like I say, the, the thing that I'm looking forward to the most is the iPad Pro and almost at the same level, the iPhone 6S, which I'm, I'm pleased about the fact that I'm excited because normally I find them events a total letdown. Uh, the, but the last couple I've really enjoyed and I, I really feel that they've kind of pushed on and uh, they've started to release some products which aren't necessarily game changers, which is really what Apple have historically been all about under Steve Jobs. They're just bringing out products that people want, and that's great. I think that's great, you know. I don't think Steve Jobs would ever have released an Apple Watch. I don't think he'd have ever released uh, an iPad Pro either. And he certainly wouldn't have released a pencil and a keyboard. Um, so I'm over the moon that they are doing that because it's not all about having the absolute perfect product that changes everyone's lives. It's about creating products that people want. And I think that's exactly what they're doing, so I'm really chuffed with that. So I'm gonna crack on with my uh, journey and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. This is literally my most favorite thing at the moment. Uh, in fact, I bought all of the writers on my, uh, well not all of them, but whoever was um, dedicated enough to come to the uh, go to, no, what was it called? The uh, hangout we did last night, I bought them all one of these. Um, these are absolutely fantastic, $18 or 12 pounds for this thing and it really is incredible it's fully uh, functional you can go any direction you want um, you can yaw you can do anything you want and it's even got three modes one of which enables you to be able to like flip it around and stuff and this little thing hexacopter that fits in the size of your hand 
and it fires so, so well. Uh, battery lasts about four to five minutes uh, and charges very, very simply via a little USB cable. Uh, there, you just plug that end in and that end in and away you go. It takes about a half hour, 40 minutes to charge. And that is it. How cool is that? I love this thing. <laughs> so the uh, the day is over and um, I don't know what I'm doing really tonight to be honest I'm probably just chilling out at home uh, the weather is absolutely atrocious it's gone pitch black outside and I don't know if you can hear it but the rain is seriously coming down so uh, that is usually a cue for me to stay indoors but anyway guys hope you all have a fantastic weekend uh, patrons i will see you on the weekend vlog uh, if you want to see the weekend vlogs become a patron uh, the link is down below otherwise uh, be safe guys and i will catch up with you middle of next week peace